Last night, the solar system held its breath. At four o'clock universal time, October 3rd, the interstellar comet known as 3I slash ATLAS swept past Mars. It was the closest approach it would ever make to any planet in its one-way journey through our system. For months, astronomers had prepared for this moment, but no one, not NASA, not ESA, not even the most seasoned comet trackers, was ready for what unfolded. As the comet's icy body slipped silently through the void, passing just 29 million kilometers from Mars. Every spacecraft orbiting the red planet turned its eyes to the visitor. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Mars Express, M-A-V-E-N, the Trace Gas Orbiter. All of them had instruments primed. On the dusty Martian plains, rovers like Perseverance were given secondary listening duties, their sensors tuned to the faintest atmospheric changes. Humanity had never been closer to studying an interstellar traveler in real time. And for a while, everything looked normal. A dim emerald glow, a thin halo of dust, a long tail pointing back toward the sun. Ordinary, until it wasn't. The comet brightened, slowly at first, then dramatically, as though some hidden switch had been thrown. Its coma expanded, glowing with an intensity that forced instruments to recalibrate midstream. Jets of gas erupted from beneath its crust, not the usual water vapor, but bursts of carbon dioxide and cyanogen, molecules rarely seen in such quantities. Spectrographs lit up with signatures scientists had only modeled in theory. To mission controllers, it felt less like a comet passing a planet and more like a visitor announcing itself. Then came the auroras. Mars, with its thin atmosphere and patchy magnetic fields, rarely hosts them. Yet in the hours surrounding the flyby, instruments detected sudden ultraviolet glows rippling across its night side. Auroras danced far brighter than any solar event could have caused. The source was traced back to the comet's passage. It was as if 3I slash ATLAS had brushed against the planet's atmosphere and left it humming. But the real shock came minutes later. Fragments began to break away from the comet's nucleus. High rise, orbiting high above Mars, caught the shimmering shards as they spiraled off. But instead of drifting,